So as you can see here, all the parts have been primed and uh, dried. Just giving maybe another couple of hours for it to dry. And uh, I did a little detailing on these parts that I should have showed off in another, you know, in another segment. But I said, nah, it's so minute and little, you're probably not going to see it. But let me show you right now since it's been primed. Here in the foot, I um, put a little detail there. And of course, this um, this was basically a rem of how I, what I remembered from the um, of the small detail uh, detailing session that I went to attend at Gundam Kitchen a few weeks ago um, when Tim from Child of Mecca and Justin from Genius Builds was there and they showed off a lot of cool examples and ideas uh, I was there and it was really uh, very informative and a lot of fun too so as you could see I did a little detail there for that as well as this guy right here put a little detail there which of course is for this and over here, since I put this little black part here, I actually put some plow plate around it, you know, around the side. And this little, there was a little gaping hole there, so what I did was, so, okay. So I have these little parts, ah, I'm trying to grab it. There we go. So going back to this. See these parts? These are uh, vents that's going to go on the uh, backpack which I'm going to spray paint separately but I actually cut took one of these cut them in a little bit to the nub and then fit it in there glued it on until it looks like that so it's pretty nice I kind of like how it came out there you go so that was cool and uh, the last thing I did which I said that I needed to modify was this part and I put this little plate there as you can see this actually reminds me of the model kit or the uh, kit of the um, of the Mecha Godzilla from um, the, the Godzilla series, the Godzilla movie that's on uh, Netflix. And this kind of looks like the little head of the uh, of I guess the form of what the Mecha Godzilla would look like. And I did it this way, which came out nice. And all this, of course, will go on the ball, which I did prime. And then all I have to do is put it right there. And there you go. And there you go. What do you think of that? Nice. Came out nice. Put that there. And put that there. Just trying to keep everything separate and, of course, uh, coordinated. Yeah, this one came out nice. And I've been having, I was having trouble with priming. Um, originally, this was not all supposed to be gray. This was all supposed to be black. And the reason uh, I was using this guy, the One Shot Primer by uh, Ammo, Ammo by Mig Jimenez, I've used this many times. And for whatever reason, the more I use it, the more it sucks. This is technically now officially garbage. I don't know why this is not working for me because. Even on a high PSI setting, like 30 to 35 PSI, after a couple of sprays, it begins to clog, and then you see bubbles build up, and I had a hard time cleaning the inside and the front nozzle of my airbrush to the point where I got so pissed off, I just said, that's it, no more. I'm going to dump the amount inside. I'm going to probably revisit another day. I don't know if... I, I have a distinct feeling it may be my airbrush itself. I'm using the Wave Airbrush for a while. And I was thinking of relegating my Wave Airbrush just just using it for uh, priming using this paint, which is, of course, the Mr. Finishing Surfacer 1500 Gray. I've always had success with this. Never had a problem. It goes down nice and smooth, as you can see from the ball. And this will always be something that I will have to have a lot of stock in. I have two bottles, maybe a third, and I'll definitely need it. In, in, in a couple of in the next few months, I've also decided to switch airbrushes from now on, 
and uh, decided to pop open and crack open the Neo for uh, Neo for Iowata CN airbrush. This is the new one, not the old one which I bought the parts for, which doesn't work. So, gotta use with what I got. Now, for painting, uh, going back to the ball, I was originally going to use um, this guy, MS Green, and it's a little light. I was going to use this with a little touch of metallic red in the eyeballs, and of course, inside here. Which I'm going to, I don't know if I'm either going to, I'll probably mask it, then spray it. I'm, I'm going to definitely have to cover that ball joint there with a cotton swab so that way the paint doesn't seep in and then it makes it's terrible for me to you know if I put the part in there it's going to be hard to turn it but I decided not to use this not the red that's going to be for the eyes and for that instead I'm going to use a different type of color paint which I picked up a while back um, from the, my friends at uh, Gundam Planet and it's this one Mr. Collar's 320 Dark Green. This is for the JASDF F1 Semi Gloss. Now, I got this as well as this one. And uh, give me a second here. This is the 336 Hemp BS 4800 10B21 RAF Nimrod Aircraft, I think it is. Um. I saw a bot of these bottles next on their table, and he says, "Oh, look at these cool bottles! And how much are these?" And he says, "Oh, you want them?" And he goes, yeah. he, "They were really ready to give me a case of this, like three bottles of this and three bottles of this." And then I ask, "Why are you giving me away all that? Why? Why this? this why not sell it?" And they're saying that a lot of the people are returning these because they're not having any good success with it. Now, I don't know. I thought, you know, all paints are the same, but depending on the paint, depending on how you thin them down and all that stuff, I don't know. So, I take that as a challenge. Let's see if I can figure this out. Um, I'm going to definitely use, not this color, I'm going to definitely use this color on the ball. And then mask off the eyes so I can paint it red. So that will be red. The eyes red, the color green. So that will be that. For um, the inner frame parts, I'll always go to my tried and true gunmetal. Never had problems with this, so I definitely like this. So that will be that. Um, I'm thinking of using, thinking of using the green on the arms and the legs on the inside. But no, actually no. Correction. So like where the the, um, how can I say that? Where the joints are, that will be this light green, while the dark green will be the ball, like like this part here, the the foot, the bottom part of the foot, the top part will be, oh, okay, so wait, the bottom part of the foot will be will be the dark green, this will probably be light green, this will probably be um, dark gray, and before I say we have it, uh, no, there's no guard gray here, but I do have an, another type of gray. I could use 337's grayish blue. That's always been a good color. And I have a lot. I have two bottles here, so I definitely have a, not, a lot. I definitely want to use a gray tone in certain areas of the kit. Um, like here, which is actually another part which I could put, pop out and paint. The guns will definitely be me uh, gun metal. The other colors, I'm still figuring out. I think I'm going to play this by ear and then adjust the colors accordingly on how what I paint first, what I paint second, and see where it goes from there. And then I'll figure it out. For now, I got these three colors, and I may add another third or fourth color. There's going to be multiple colors here with this. So let's start painting some and see how they look. Alright, now we're going to work on this color, Mr. Color, um, 320 Dark Green. This is the one that the Planet gave me. And uh, after doing a little bit of testing here, here and there, applying 
a little bit more thinner than uh, than I normally do. I finally got the right um, the right spray frequency and right pressure that is required. I actually increased the pressure on this a little bit just to help me out here. So let's see how this looks. We're going to use this part here. Good coverage. Hmm. Let's get shit of green. Very nice. I like it. It's semi-gloss, of course. It's not a flat tone. That could be that could be updated. Uh, let's work on this foot. I did remove the top part, like I mentioned. See anything wrong with this paint? So far, I'm enjoying it. Very nice. Put it here to dry. Uh, let's do the leg. We did the foot, now we do the leg. I removed the side parts as you can see there. So, I was going to paint that a separate color. But I'm also going to be replacing two with the part that I custom made. I will show that later on. If they haven't sold those bottles, I'll ask them if they give it to me. Alright, let's do this guy. This is the one that we're looking into now. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is cover the, the flaps. And let's begin. Good coverage here. Plus the fact my my up and down spraying is making it, turning it into a watermelon. too much reflectiveness here, so hang on a second. What do you guys think of that? Not bad. I'll give it another pass later on. Just pump it here. Let's do one more part for shits and giggles. Um, oh yeah, just for a part here. I'm not seeing no problems with this part, this paint, I mean. 
Um, maybe I have to wait until it dries to understand it. But for now, I'm digging this paint. I'm not seeing no problem whatsoever. So let me finish up the remaining parts and we'll move on to the next color of this build. Alright, next color will be the MS Green that I'm going to use on specific parts of this kit. Like I mentioned before, the, uh, for the bicep arm, the calf leg, some specific areas of the, of the, hand, of the body. Uh, I'm also going to spray this one, the, uh, the arm guard. So let's try this now. Nice light green color, very nice. I also painted this. This is the actual part from the uh, from the arm, the uh, I'm sorry, the uh, uh, elbow, not the elbow, the shoulder armor, or the shoulder point where the arm is. Uh, I took this apart so I can paint it a different color. And I'm probably going to paint this little notch there as well. Unfortunately, it's part of the mold, so I thought it's not the not the same connector as the other ones. Though. Let's do this one first. There we go. Uh, this, I believe, is the calf leg. Good. And I just realized something. Um, let me just do this one. That's good too. Uh, like I mentioned before, I realized just something. I need to paint this part, which I just finished masking off and painting the skirt armor. And it did dry out. Let me just remove this. That's good. But now I, I gotta cut the um, what I have here of my masking tape so I can cover this so I can paint this color on top of this so this will take that I won't do this now on camera it's gonna take too long but let me finish up the remaining parts here and then we'll move on to the next color of this kit so stay tuned 